Linux.com, the world's largest coaching website. All right, have a seat. All right, let me have your attention. Uh, it's going to go fast, it's going to go quick tonight. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, we are probably going to train here for the rest of the year. All right, so just give you a heads up. So it's a good place to enjoy, good environment. Listen up, little exercise. I always try to put little exercise into training sessions and uh, to be more productive as players. What concerns me about this group, when I talk, you listen with what? Yes. Okay. What concerns me about this team is just that ability to constantly communicate all the time. You're very one of the quietest teams that I've had as a coach. All right? So if I was to say, guys, we, what concerns me is your team defense. What should we work on in, a, in practice? Our defensive skills, right? So that never neglect the mental side of our team, how important that is. And you must address it. You must work with that. Uh, we need leaders in this team. You know, there's a couple of you guys who are close to leaders, but you're nowhere near the next level of leadership that is required at high levels of football. Okay? Now, if you can't lead a team, I know you can inspire one person. But here's a great exercise. So before we start, turn the weight, close the door. Before we start, just put your hand in here. Do not show me. I've got a bag with everybody's name in here. You're going to pick somebody's name out. If you pick your own name out, put it back in. Everybody's going to get a buddy who they're going to be responsible for today to motivate. But you can't tell the guy who it is. If your job is to motivate Patrick, you can't tell him. You have to do it verbally on the field. So at the end of the practice, it should be pretty clear to Patrick who his buddy was, who his motivator was, okay? So, and if you can figure it out, that guy's done a pretty bad job. So let's have a look, keep it a secret, and at the end of practice, I'm gonna ask you, who was your guy who motivated you? Pick one out. Guys, you can chew this and swallow it if you want. Yeah, come on, Toby. Top secret, Toby, you can go first. <laughs> Don't tell anybody's name, it's a secret till the end. We're gonna find out at the end of practice. So this is an exercise, a test. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Pass it around, pass the bag around, take the name out. All right, with that name, before we start, because listen, at the end of practice, Freddie, I'm going to be the first person I'm going to ask is you, and I'm going to ask you, who was your buddy, who, mo who motivated you? And you've got to find that out, okay? But before we go out here, before we go out here, Owen, tell me what are the, some of the things that you can do to motivate another teammate? What kind of things? Job. When? <laughs> and when? <laughs> and he does something bad. Uh, uh, hey, an opportunity to teach, an opportunity to learn. A mistake. If a player makes a mistake, it's an opportunity for you to teach or an opportunity for you to inspire. And what we always look for is not a player who points a finger, one finger at somebody, but points five fingers, right? To lend a helping hand. You make a mistake, I'll give you five fingers and pull you off the ground and give you a helping hand. So let's go out and have a good practice, boys. Come on, let's go. Let's go! So guys, listen up, good practice. Uh, Good energy, fun upbeat, started off good, finished great. Start off good, finished great. Um, good leadership in the back, centrally, I thought defensively. Uh, was verbal, commanding, super, super job. Uh, up front were looked dangerous, midfield were industrious. Non-stop, you and David closing people down. Uh, everybody played their part. Was it, good? it was a good training session, good scrimmage after the end there. So let's just stop what we're doing for a second. This will take two or three minutes, okay? So, just like if we have a game plan against a team and we go out with our strategy of a game plan, we've, I've asked you, give you specific instructions before the, this practice today. 
and it was an exercise in the ability uh, to go beyond more than yourself. It's easy to be responsible for your own performance, Pat, but great players become responsible for other players' performances too. Okay, like we said, you don't point a finger, you point five and give them a helping hand, and you can do that in all different ways. You can do it physically, you can do it emotionally, you can be the first there when he makes a mistake. You could be you, you support him when he's doing something good. So let me ask you, Patrick, who do you think selected your name before practice day for the guy who was going to motivate you for training? That's good. Was it right? Yeah. Good job. Super. What what were some of the things that he said that maybe you remembered? When he nutmegged you, he apologized. <laughs> Is that what he did? Okay. Mike, who do you think was your guy? Was that right? Is it Drew? What did uh, what were some of the things that Drew said to you that you noticed it was going to be him? Very positive. Okay. Uh, uh, every time. So he did it at least twice, right? <laughs> Super job, great stuff. Toby, who do you think your motivator was? David. David. Is it, yeah? Did you get it right, Dave? Yeah. So listen, subconsciously, uh, we motivate people, but if I ask you to do something very consciously, make a conscious effort to try and change something about your personality. You might, might not be the guy who's the guy who's gonna be, hey, the person talking all the time and motivating, but in these small things, it starts with small steps. The greatest leaders, the greatest people who inspired people, the greatest motivators worldwide started at one point, right? Started at a basic fundamental point where the conversation had to be one-on-one, -on -one, then maybe one-on-10, -on and one-on-100. You're great politicians. By the confidence to stand up there. Dwayne? Zoe. Yes? Great job. What's the one thing that stood out? He knew I was going to make the goal for it. He took the shot. Good job. By the way, that was a, probably one of the best goals I've seen all year. Phenomenal. Isn't it funny that some of the greatest goals that I ever scored are scored in training? That fans don't see and people don't see on TV. I've seen some spec all of my career, some of the most amazing stuff that I've seen, which would totally outbeat anything on the television I've seen in training by great, great young players. Nate? Did you help? Did you tell him? No. Is that right? No. Yeah. Okay. Did you, how long did it take you to notice it was Harvey who was the, the, the motivational buddy? Oh, a minute. A minute. <laughs> so, oh, so when you put your gloves on, he said, "Great job." Is that is that what give it away? He stood up and he was like, "Yeah, Davey." Sadly, it was Tommy. It was Tommy. Yeah. And uh, what did he say? That was. <laughs> but he said it in a nice way? He told you you suck in a nice way? No. Okay. <laughs> Big man? I agree. Yeah, is that true? Okay. Oh. Yes? Okay. Yes? Is that true? Okay. Great. All right. All right. What was it? No? Dwayne, you were not his buddy. He didn't shut up. He didn't shut up. <laughs> so who? Uh, let's let's reveal who was his official motivator for the practice. Who 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 picked out his Drew's name? I mean, I mean, Harvey's name. Harvey's name. You you had Harvey's name. You did. Okay. <laughs> Owen. Wow. Owen. What was the one thing that Owen said to you that? Every every five seconds. Every five seconds. Dimitri? Yes. I, I, I'm going to tell you right now. I've done this exercise with many teams that I've coached. And you're the first team to get it all right, 100%. I think we can be and, more and, But the thing is, though, it's a task that you had to have contributed to in this practice. As well as doing all the different things we've done tonight, you had to be mindful of that, that task that I give you of being able to achieve something beyond yourself. And, and just imagine, uh, that's just one play you're responsible for. If I said to you now, the next thing, you'd be responsible for three players. And those three players have got to identify you. And so you get that point where you're comfortable walking out of this locker room being a leader of any team. All right? If you can do it, if you can inspire one person, you can inspire everybody. But it's just a great exercise in, in communication, a great exercise in us 
looking after each other. This is how teams are built, guys. Just like that. We're all look, got each other's backs with the mistakes. We're reinforcing the good things and we're also helping each other with the bad things. Um, and it's not a coincidence that you played so well too. You can see it in the game. People talking to each other and encouraging each other. Start from the goalkeepers, back four were great. Midfield, and the energy was there. Everybody talking, everybody inspiring each other. That's just a start, all right? Super practice tonight, I'm proud of you boys. We'll see you here next week, Tuesday. All right, good job. Let's bring it in. Team on three, boys. Let's come on, big man. Just because you scored a hat trick doesn't mean you can't get in here. Team on three. One, two, three. Team. See you next week. For more great drills, visit soccerclinics.com, the world's largest coaching website.